Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and I'm here with a mailbag video. I have not done a mailbag video in a really long time because I've been trying to incorporate the things that I do get in the mail just in like my lookbooks instead of doing mailbag videos because I think lookbooks are more fun. But sometimes it's nice to do a mailbag video just so I can get those other miscellaneous items in there because I do want to showcase everything that you guys sent me. So in case you're new to my channel or new to mailbag videos, this is basically just a video where I showcase things that I get in the mail. It could be anything that any business or any of you guys send me and it's just to help promote you guys' small businesses and show some new products that my viewers might be interested in. The first thing that I got in the mail a while back, I tried to let it kind of build up so I would have a lot of things to show you guys but I got these bow ties which are handmade and I got one leopard print one and one houndstooth one as they have the little um clips in the back where you can easily clip it to your shirt like it opens up on both sides I've actually never seen these kinds of clips before but I assume that it's for clipping it to your shirt but I mean they're clips so you can also clip it to your hair or clip it to whatever you want to clip it to I thought these are really cute and versatile if you're oops <laughs> if you're going for a um, boyish day you can clip it on to your shirt or if you're going for a girlish day you can clip it on to your hair or even if you put it on your beanie that would be cute yeah these bow ties are from sent me a nice little card be cultured and they just said special thanks from the be cultured team so I will put their link and their information down below if you want to get yourself some handmade bow ties like these so moving on to the second package out of the three packages I got some makeup products which is always really exciting when I get makeup products because I'm always hesitant to actually go out and buy makeup for myself because like I've always said I am more likely to spend money on clothes and shoes and hair stuff rather than than makeup. This makeup brand is called Unique, which based upon my research, I've discovered that it's kind of like Mary Kay, where they have like the Mary Kay brand, but they have a bunch of different people who sign up to sell it. Kind of how this brand is. It has Unique, and then it has like different people who sell the Unique brand. That's weird. This person used like the same thank you cards as the other person. But yeah, so my seller or the lady who contacted me for Unique, her name is Erica Dunlap. And she said, thank you so much for agreeing to review my products. I hope you love them as much as I do. Please let me know your thoughts. And you can find her on Facebook at The Fabulous Lash Lady. So I will put all of her info down below if you want to go through her to get some unique products. And this is the thing that really caught my eye. It's actually a mascara, but it's like, it looks like glasses because it's in such a fancy like glasses case type thing. And I already kind of looked at it, but I haven't tried it yet. I wanted to try it on camera for you guys. So it just has a little instructional thing and it has two really nice looking mascara tubes in the inside. And I was excited about this because I've actually seen this on Instagram before. So I was like really excited to try it. And these are called Moodstruck 3D Fiber Lashes. And you guys may have heard of fiber lashes before. It's like a little fuzzy stuff that you put on with your mascara to make your real eyelashes look like false eyelashes. So I'm going to actually try it out right now for the first time. So you have one with the fibers and one with like the gel stuff. So it gives you instructions on this little thing. So you're supposed to apply a thin coat of your favorite regular mascara and let it dry, which I've already did that because I already have my makeup on for today. And then apply an even coat of transplanting gel, which is this one. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, it just looks, it's black. It just looks like mascara. And then before that dries, you go into the other tube, which has the fibers in it, which I don't know if you guys will be able to see that at all, if it'll focus. Fuzzy, like it looks like it has little, little fuzzies on it. Like I don't know how to explain it. But then you just brush these on while it's wet so they can stick. Whoa. Yeah, and then you seal them in with another coat of the gel. And then they said you can repeat this process as many times as you want. So I'm going to do it another time. Okay, one thing that I will say right off the bat is that the little fuzzies will fall into your eyeball if you're not careful. If you guys have ever got an eyelash in your eye, 
it feels like that so you have to be careful not to get them in your eye um i do kind of see a difference though i think it works so this is my regular eye with just my regular mascara and i use that smashbox mascara but i don't use a lot of it because my eyelashes are like already kind of long so i don't ever really like obsess over my mascara or anything i'm dropping everything so there's that eye and then here's the eye with the fibers on it so they do look longer thicker fuller if you can see that so regular mascara fiber mascara okay so i went ahead and did both eyes and i think it worked better on the second eye maybe it just takes practice to get used to it but i really see a difference when I did it on the second eye, it looks really full. Like my lashes look amazing. So actually, now that I've done both eyes, I really like this stuff, so check it out. And also, not only did she send me the lash fibers, but she sent me three pigments, and I haven't opened them yet. One's called Daring, and so let's see what that looks like. So here's the packaging for the pigments. Really cool packaging, kind of has like this rounded square um clear bottom with the black top and it says unique on it so it has a safety seal but it's just kind of this olivey gold with green undertones shimmery pigment if you can see that so this is daring and then this is confident it looks similar to daring but less green more bronzy and this one is called sexy which is just like the perfect pearl highlighty color and i definitely see myself using this because i'm obsessed with shimmery highlighting colors and i recently lost mine so this will be perfect so thank you so much erica for sending me these unique products i really like them so far if you guys want them check out the description box and last but not least for my mailbag today i got another boxy charm subscription box so i'm just gonna go through the products in here really fast i have not opened it yet but it has this really cute hot pink ribbon on it. And I'm not sure what month this is for. We'll find out when we open it. But I really liked my last boxy charm box that I got. You guys can check out that video. Um, so I'm excited for this one. So this one is called Strike a Pose. The weather is warming up and it's time to go out in the town and strike a pose. For what month is this? April so this is for the month of April so it's still April so I got it on time and hashtag spring selfie yeah so it comes wrapped in some nice black tissue paper with the boxycharm sticker very professional black worms first thing I notice is this which is model co blush and it's in the color amaretto sunset and the great thing about BoxyCharm is that they send you big sized products, like full size products. So this is like a legitimate amount of blush. It's not just like a little circle sample. So here's the color, which is really pretty. And I really like this packaging. I like the little metallic font that they use then i see this Ooh, this is finishing oil for your hair to give you that sleek shine look after you finished your hair and it's by cool way and it just gives you a shiny finished look so this is definitely something that i think i will use it has this plastic around it so you can't really see it but um this is definitely something that i think i'll probably use on my wigs if any of them start getting dull you can use finishing oil to add some shine and life back into them and this is a giant product so yes then we've got a really cool nail polish color that is perfect for the spring and summertime it's like this teal color it is called aqua teal and it's by bella pierre cosmetics but i just really like this color it's a pretty unique color i don't think i have this in my collection maybe i will take this with me to the nail shop next time that i go okay so olivia just came in with perfect timing asking me if i had any oil sheen spray and i said no but i just got this in my boxy charm so i let her use it so i'll let her tell you did uh, it work well first okay, you can okay, look okay, at her okay. hair look look for okay, yourself does it look see. does it look yeah. shiny and finished looks shiny to me yeah looks for sure it's really shiny um it's it's like oil basically i don't know how to explain it it's just like a oil and it's not it's like like a thicker kind of texture like a serum i guess 
And I just, you know, put it on my hair, <laughs> laid it down nice and good. And it's pretty shiny. I like it. Now get out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have two more products in the BoxyCharm. One is this lip, liquid lipstick. I thought it was a lip gloss, but it's actually liquid lipstick by O-F-R-A, Afra Hollywood, Afra Cosmetics. So let's see. Oh, it is like liquid lipstick. It feels like the consistency of lipstick when you touch it. So it's just like this hot pink, not really hot pink, but I don't know. You guys see it, pink color right here and then the last product is a lip pencil and sharpener a sharpener is in here i can never get these things out oh here we go oh whoa i never had one of these where it has like a sharpener on the top of the the pencil and it's color pomegranate and this is by model co the same people who made the blush and it's just like this mauvey pink color pretty versatile color because it's kind of like the same color as my natural lips so i feel like i could use this with like a lot of different lip colors and i only have one other lip pencil and it's by mac and i got it for prom way back in the day and after that i never thought about getting another lip pencil but now i have one so those are all the products that i got in my boxy charm this was a really good box i think i'm most excited about this product because this is like a really big product and if i had to take a guess this would at least cost like eight or ten dollars by itself so you're getting all of this stuff for a really good price so definitely check out boxycharm if you are interested in getting products like these sent to you monthly the link to that will be down below as well and that concludes my mailbag for today so i hope you guys enjoyed this haul and saw some stuff that you might want to try leave a comment of what you most liked out of this video what you would most be willing to try i want to see what you guys are interested in i think my my favorite thing out of this whole video would actually be the lash fibers because I was really excited to try it and it actually works. Yes, if you have a company or a small business or whatever and you want to send me something for my next mailbag video, my email address will be in the description box. Just email me saying that you have a company and you want to be in my mailbag video and I will give you my address. You can send me a product to be promoted. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye is the TMI tag in case you haven't already seen from the title and basically this is just like 50 invasive personal questions that you may or may not want to answer but it's gonna help you guys get to know me a little bit better.